It's my honor and joy to be able to share the Word of God with you for our brethren that are here. Sabahang nga narito po ngayong umaga. And for those people who is watching at home at their Facebook Live right now, God bless you all. God bless you po sa lahat ng isa bawat isa po sa atin. And we trust you, uh, we, uh, you know, as we trust you as we're going to, um, you know, we trust that the Lord is going to bless you this morning. Hallelujah, na ang Diyos po ay pagpapalain po tayo ngayong umaga. Hallelujah. We are now on the second part of our message this morning. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay nasa ikalawang bahagi ng ating pag-aaral. Hallelujah. So we discussed this last week and how many of you remember our message last week? Sino ba nakakalala ng ating mensahe kahap nung nakaraang linggo? Anybody? You know, we are on the second part ng ating pag-aaral. Our study is about how to focus unto God. Amen? Paano ba natin ipofocus ang ating mga mata o ang ating attention sa ating Panginoon? Amen? That not being distracted and, you know, our God is our focus. Hallelujah! Sa ating pong ginagalawan. And we would like to invite you to Open your Bible in the book of Second Peter, Second Peter, uh, chapter one. Amen. Open our Bible, and to those who are watching with us, if you have your Bible with you, open our Bible in Second Peter, chapter one. Uh, I think we're going to read on verse twelve. And while we are opening on your Bible in Second Peter, I would like to read uh, to you about what we have, what we read last week. Hallelujah. Uh, to refresh our memory to our topic about being focused unto God, you know, and it said in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, he said, My son, hallelujah. So it's, he's talking about us who are the children of God. Sino ba yung children ng ating Dios dito? Sino ba yung mga anak ng Dios dito? Tayo po. Amen. We are. We are the children of God. So therefore, this message, this scripture, is talking about us. Ang Diyos po ay nakipag-uusap sa atin. Amen? So, uh, the, uh, it's telling us right now in 2 Corinthians, uh, sa, sa uh, binasa natin last week, sa Proverbs 4 verse 20, said, My son, hallelujah, give attention to my word, incline your ears to my saying. Amen? Uh, God is talking about that the, we need to incline Tuon natin yung ating mga tinga sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah! Sa kanyang sinasabi. Verse 21 says, Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Amen? So, ang, ang salita ng Diyos, ang sabi niya, ila, ay, tuon natin ating tinga. Uh, do not let, let, not let depart from our eyes. Keep them in the midst of our heart. So, ibig sabihin, yung pong ating salita ng Diyos, hindi lang po natin binabasa, hindi ito po ay nilalagay po natin sa ating mga puso. Amen? So God is telling us today that the importance of being focused, He said, keep them in the midst of our heart. Amen? Ilagay po natin maging makatutuhanan ang salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Meaning, stay focused on what God says. Amen? Give attention to my word, incline your ears to my saying, do not depart from you. Huwag po nating alisin, huwag po nating ilayo sa atin ang salita ng Diyos. Lagi po nating binabasa, lagi po nating ninanamnam ang mga pangako ng Diyos. Amen? It tells us how important it is to stay 
focus on the word of God. Bakit po? Kaya sabi ng Proverbs 4.22, For they are life, hallelujah, to those who find them and help to all their place. Ito daw po ay kalusugan sa lahat ng ating mga pangangatawan. Amen? So ito daw ay buhay, hindi lang po buhay, kundi ito ay kalusugan sa ating mga pangangatawan. Amen? So gusto natin magkaroon ng magundang kalusugan, then stay on the Word of God. And that is what the Word says. So isang napakalaking uh, benepisyo ang mag- nakalakip sa mga talat ng ating binasa. Amen po ba? Okay, so when you are focused on the Word of God, hallelujah, it will produce life, it will produce health, hallelujah, it will produce prosperity, amen, and it will produce victory in every areas of our lives, amen. So napakaganda ng, ng kung tayo ay nakatuon sa salita ng Diyos. May victory na tayo, may kalusugan pa tayo, may pagpapala pa tayo. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, let's going on on 2 Peter chapter 1 chapter 1 verse 12. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 12. Tingnan po natin ang sinasabi ron. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 12. Ang sabi po ron, For this reason I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things though you know are established in the present truth amen verse 13 said yes i think it is right as long as i am in this tent to stir you up by reminding you hallelujah says everyone yes i was thinking in the uh, i was think it is right as long as i'm here in this tent as long as I am here in the tabernacle to stir you up, to remind you. Hallelujah. Hindi tayo uh, titigilan na paalalahanan ni Peter, ni Apostle Peter, na tayo ay paalalahanan patungkol sa salita ng Diyos. Ang sabi niya, habang ako ay narito sa templo na ito, habang ako ay narito sa aking katawan, Amen, we will continue to remind us. Amen. Notice here, Saint Peter is saying, even though that you may have heard these things before, maaring ito ay napakinggan na natin ng mga nakaraan, it is important that I bring them to your remembrance. Patuloy tayong pinaalahanan ng salita ng Diyos through Apostle Peter. Amen? At ang sabi ron, as long as I am here in earthly, uh, yung tabernacle, to steer you up patuloy niya tayong paaalahanan paalalahanan okay so peter said as long as i'm here in this body ang ako ay narito sa aking katawan i'm not going to be negligent to remind you of these things and sometimes we really needed to hear and hear the word of god again amen it's uh, you know kailangan patuloy tayo nakikinig ng kanyang mga pangako Amen. Hindi po once in a while kundi lagi. And I always been saying, I've been surrendering my life to the Lord for more than 37 years ago. Amen. I surrender my life to the Lord 37 years ago and I can't afford without being in the word of God for a month or even for a week, not even for a day. Amen. Bakit po ito yung ating pagkain? Ito yung pagkain na ating spiritual. Amen. Kung tayo po ay hindi kumain ng pagkain natin, literal na pagkain natin sa ating buhay, siguro hindi tayo kumain maghapon. Ano? Kinabukasan. Ay, you know, and that is what, you know, that's why Peter is always reminding us, I need to stay on the Word of God. Amen. Uh, why? Because it is our food. Ito yung pagkain ng ating spiritual. The food of our spirit in order for me to be stay focused on the word of god hallelujah and i do I, you know i hope we do the same thing hindi lang po ako kundi about sa pusa atin you know just like we you know as, as i said just like we eat our physical food uh daily for our healthy life amen because daily in our lives we are in the battle araw-araw na ating ginagalawan hallelujah believe me 
araw-araw, paglabas pa lang natin, paggising pa lang natin sa umaga, meron agad tayong battle. Okay? Against the temptation of this world, you know, to get away to the system of this world, you know, and they are in, uh, you know, and there is an opportunities to just give up and quit. Yan po yung tendency natin eh. Kung pagka tayo ay, eh, yun, guys, siya grabe ko, our enemy, yung an, mga ating unseen enemy, which is Satan itself. No? Sabi ng uh, Peter, uh, sabi ni Peter, he is like a roaring lion, 24-7. He is roaring around, looking that he might devour. Amen? Nag, uh, hindi niya tumitigil na naghahanap ng kanyang masisila. At kung tayo po ay hindi nakahanda sa labanan, at tayo ay nanghina, hindi tayo kumain, Talo po tayo, talo tayo. You know? And that's why I need to remind myself, I need to remind myself of the Word of God. You know? And that's what Peter was talking about, to steer you up by reminding you. Amen? Reminding us. Pinaalahanan tayo ni Peter. And that's what we're doing today. Yan po yung ating ginagawa. I'm going to keep steering you up. Amen? Patuloy natin sa bawat kapatiran po natin, patuloy natin pinaalahanan. Maaaring sabihin natin, eh, Pastor, maraming beses ko nang narinig yung mga talatang yan. You know? Pastor, eh, ilang beses ko nang paulit-ulit na basa yan. Well, I say you need to hear it again. Amen? We need to hear it over and over. There is not such things that you say, I know everything, I already read it, I don't need to keep on reading it, and that's it. No, that's not the way it is. No? We need to be reminded every day of our lives. Amen? Kailangan pinaalahanan tayo araw-araw ng ating buhay. I remember one of the most popular pastor in Tulsa, Oklahoma, way back then, the evangelist, you know, he is evangelist, but very popular pastor. One of the members came to him and asked, Pastor, when are you going to preach something beside Mark 11, 23, and 24? You know? Nagtanong yung isang membro, Pastor, kailan ba matitigil yung, yung pagpipreach niya about the Mark 11, chapter 23, and 24? Ano? Ang sabi, and I, you know, sagot ng pastor na ito, as soon as you learn this, we will learn to apply it in our lives, then I will move to something something new. Amen? Hanggat hindi nyo nagukuha yung mga talatang ito, hindi ako titigil na ibahagi ang talatang yun. Amen? Until the Word of God penetrate in our heart, ating ipamuhay. Hindi lang po natin naririnig, kundi ating isinabubuhay yung ganyang pangako. Amen. The Word of God must be um, manahan sa ating mga puso. Hindi lang po basta natin narinig. We need to to liberate. Amen. We will move on something yun, sabi ng pastor na yun. Why? Because we need to hear over and over again. Kailangan natin na marinig ang salita ng Diyos araw-araw, palapalagi ng ating buhay until it become a reality in our lives. Amen? Kailangan mag- magkaroon ng makatotohan. I would say, stay stay there and relax. Don't uh, don't turn me off, you know? Kung ngayon nakikinig ngayon, stay and relax there. Don't turn me off. Even though that you think that it sounds like elementary teaching, so basic, well, the basic will get you over. Amen? Don't ever think about uh, leave this basic. Bagamat misan nakala natin very basic yung ating pinag-aaralan, but again, we cannot live on a basic. Amen? I say, get a foundation in the basic and don't ever forget them. Amen? Don't ever put this aside. Wag po natin iisang tabi yung pag-aaral natin. Bagamat nakala natin ay basic. Right now, some of you, you need to hear this you, you need to hear more of them than ever before. You know, the Mark 11, chapter 23 and 24. Some of you, you need to hear it right now. Amen. Maring ibas atin, kailangan marinig natin yung mga talatang ito. Amen. That you are, uh, you, 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 that you are reminded from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. More than that you ever needed before. You needed to hear it that by God, shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. You need to hear it over and over again. Amen. Patuloy po nating pakinggan yung kanyang salita. Patuloy tayong paalalahanan. Hindi po sinabi niya na 
faith comes from being heard. Hindi po ganun ang sinabi ng Biblia. Amen? It says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Amen? Yun daw pong ating pananampalataya ay madedevelop lamang sa patuloy at patuloy nating pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Amen. So it is repetition. Repetition. There's no such thing that, oh, pastor, nabasa ko na yung mga talatang yun eh. Paulit-ulit na lang. You know? Kung minsan yung John 3.16, madalas natin, most of us memorize na natin yung John 3.16. But you know what? Every time that you hear that verses, panibagong katuroan, panibagong Every time that you hear this word, there's new revelation that coming out from that verse. Why? Because yung, yung, yung salita ng Diyos, napakayaman, napakalalim ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? So hindi natin pwede sabihin, eh, Pastor, narinig ko na yan. Kakasawa na yun. <laughs> you know, paid coming by hearing and hearing by the words of God. Hallelujah. Hindi po tayo manghihinawa na pakinggan. So it is important that if you want to stay focused, kung gusto nating makapokus, how is what is focus? That's what I said last time, last week, na yung isang bata na pagka naglalaro ng kanyang computer, you know, yung kanyang mata, yung kanyang kaisipan, yung kanyang buong uh, bu- puso ay nakatutok doon sa kanyang nilalaro. Kung minsan hindi pa matawa, hindi mo mautusan. Bakit? Kasi nakapokus yung kanyang attention doon sa kanyang ginagawa. And that is what God is talking about. We need to focus on His Word. Amen? Kailangan nakapocus yung ating mga mata sa salita ng Diyos. You know? If you want to receive that God's promise to you, kung gusto natin makamit yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin, you got to be in the Word every day of our life. Amen? Can I hear amen with that? Tahimik tayo masyado. Amen. Praise God. Now I hear you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, let's go on the 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Ang sabi po roon, By which I have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, hallelujah, that through this you may be partake, partakes of the divine nature having escaped from corruption that is in the world in the world through lust hallelujah by which you have been uh, given to us exceeding and great precious promises merong pangako ang Diyos hallelujah great precious promises that through this you may be partaker of the divine nature hallelujah having escaped from the corruptions that is in the world through us. Ano yung ating ginagalawan? Alam niyo po, ay po ating ginagalawan dito sa ating puso, sa ating mundo. Ngayon, sabi ko nga, uh, even I watch TV sometimes, you know, yung hayagan ang gawa ng laman nowadays. Amen? The commercial TV ngayon, pati they say, it's other on the TV. Praise God. Sabi ko nga, wow, Lord. <laughs> Uh, yung gawa ng laman ay hayagan na. Yung pinagmamalaki na yung gawa ng laman. Yung last. Amen? At, uh, uh, you know, it's really, you know, sad because in the young age na makikita yung ganong sitwasyon sa TV ay hindi po maganda. But notice, Peter is telling us that God has given us exceeding great precious promises. Merong pangako na binitawan ang Diyos ang nangako sa atin walang iba kundi ang ating Diyos the creator ng earth. Ang nangako sa atin hindi po yung ating kapitbahay, hindi po yung ating mga mga kaibigan, kundi ang nangako po sa atin yung ating pong creator of heaven and earth. Ipagkakaloob sa atin yung kanyang pangako. Amen. But you need to know what those promises are. Amen. Kailangan alam natin yung pangako na binigay sa atin. You don't know, or if you don't know those promises kung hindi natin alam yung pangako ng Diyos, then you can expect to fulfill in your life. Kung hindi natin alam yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin, paano natin makukuha yung pangako ng Diyos kung hindi natin alam yung pangako ng Diyos? And that's why it is important na alam natin 
yung pangako ng Diyos para sa atin. Hindi tayo pwedeng tumanggap ng pangako na hindi natin alam kung ano ang ipinangako sa atin. Hindi ho ba? Amen. Dapat alam po natin yung pangako ng Diyos. So that means you need to study this word. We need to study His Word. We need to meditate on the Word of God day and night. Not only meditating the Word, but you need to focus on His Word. Dapat yung ating mata nakapokus. Amen? Amen. Isa lang yung nag-amen. <laughs> Hallelujah! Nakapokus tayo lagi. Katulad ng isang bata na glaro ng computer. That's the way it is. That's the way what God is talking about, focus. This book, book of, uh, is full of precious promises. Itong Biblia, salita ng Diyos ay punong-puno ng pangako sa atin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Punong-puno ng mga pangako ng Diyos sa atin. Praise God. And one of those promises are in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. Tingnan po natin. Book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. Ang sabi po ron. Ang sabi po sa book of Isaiah 54, no weapon forms against you shall prosper and every tongue which is righteous against you in judgment you shall condemn hallelujah there is no weapon forms against you wala pa pong uh, uh, sandata na ginawa na magtatagumpay laban sa atin is that a good promise? amen isang napakaganda pa yan sa atin ng Diyos wala pong sandata na nilikha rito sa lupa na pwedeng magtagumpay sa atin. And that is the promise of God. That is a great promise. Amen. And you can claim that promise wherever you are. Maari po natin ang kinin yung pangako niya wherever we are, whatever you do, wherever you go. Amen. Yung pangako na yan, saan man tayo pong maroon, ang pangako ng Diyos. At sabi nyo, no weapon forms against you. That's sharp, sharp prosper. And that is what I always do. I claim that promise in my life. Patuloy ko pong inaangkin yung pangako niya ng aking, ating Panginoon. Paglapas, paggising natin sa umaga, paglapas ng ating tahanan, yan po yung aking kinukumpisal. There is no weapon forms against me that shall prosper. Pagpunta sa trabaho, amen. Pagpunta saan man tayo pumunta, pumunta man tayo sa grocery, ano man yung ating ginagawa, ang kinin natin yung pangako niya, no weapon forms against me that shall prosper. And that is the promise of God. Amen. Yan po yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin. I am declaring them, declaring them out of my mouth. Binabanggit ko po ng aking bibig. Binabanggit, kailangan ibigkas po natin. Huwag lang sa isip, hindi binibigkas natin. We need to claim it. I, hallelujah. I have confessed on uh, Psalms chapter 91. Psalms 91 verse 1 and 2. Uh, sabi po ron, Psalms 91 verse 1 and 2, uh, pakibukas lang po. Psalms chapter 91. Oh, there you go. Sabi ron, he who dwelt he who dwelt in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and i will say he is uh, he, i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my god in whom shall i trust hallelujah praise god yan verse 1 and 2 Praise God. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom shall I trust? Sa yung ating uh, taguan. Hallelujah. Sa yung ating uh, pagka meron tayong problema sa ating buhay, siya yung ating taguan. Siya yung ating tagapagtanggol ng ating buhay. Amen. And that is the promise of God. But you need to know that promise of God, kailangan alam po natin yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin because that's what the Bible says. Amen. He says, for I am ready to perform my word. Hallelujah. I am ready to perform. Sabi ng Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12, I am ready to perform my word. Yung kanyang pangako ay nakahanda na para sa atin. Hallelujah. Kumbaga, yung kanyang pangako, bago pa, man, bago pa man niya sabihin, ito ay nakahanda na. Ang sabi ng Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Amen. Yung kanyang pangako ay nakahanda na, ready, ready to, to release for those who is willing to know Him. Nakahanda na ito sa mga taong gustong magtiwala, gustong kumilala sa ating Diyos. 
magtiwala sa ating Diyos. It caused it to come to pass in our life. Amen? Magkakaroon to ng buhay, katotohanan sa ating buhay. And, it, and that's why it's so important that you know the promise. Amen? Because if you don't know, then how can you expect to come to pass? Kung hindi po natin alam, hindi po natin asahan na mangyayari po sa ating buhay. And that's cause you need to have the quality time in the Word of God so that you will know the great and precious promises that God has given unto us. Amen? We need to spend time. Magbasa po tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Not only that, but, one, uh, but when, you know that, when you know them, it's help you to stay focused. Patuturoan po tayo na makatuto tayong mag-focus sa salita ng Diyos. Even though everything around, you, uh, around us you seems that uh, falling apart, ang mga naka, nasa kapaligid natin, everything around, you, around us you look like trouble and despair sa ating kapaligiran. Well, as you know, you know, as you know, trouble and despair is all around us right now. Amen? Yung, well, sabi ko nga, Praise God, kahapon, kami, we have a chance to uh, go out and uh, I need to buy some food for my for our lunch, lunch time. And then, pumunta kami sa Saigon. I, I, I was surprised, bukas na, mayroon mga taong kumakain sa loob ng restaurant. But praise God, hallelujah. But still, we need to have a social distance. Mayroon pa rin distance yan na, uh, you know, uh, after you eat, you need to wear your mask still. Amen. So, sabi nga na si Thelma Resol, although that she just finished yung kanyang vaccine, but still nagsaswab test pa rin sila every week. So, <laughs> I mean, there's still something something else, you know. Though we have that vaccine, still don't have the guarantee of being safe, you know. But you don't have to be troubled by it, you know. We don't need to be troubled by it. Yung sabi na salita ng Diyos. You know, I remember when the disciple came to Jesus, when the disciple came to Jesus in Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. Remember this, on Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, uh, sabi ron, uh, now he sat on the Mount of Olive. The disciple came to him privately saying, tell us, tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age. So, if you look on the scenario, ang siyang disipulo, siguro disciple, he came to Jesus, he was so, he was so, uh, ano, excited na malaman ko ano mangyayari sa mga darating na panahon. At ang sabi niya, Panginoon, kailan, kailan mangyayari mga bagay nito? And when is the end of the age? Kailan ang katapusan ng mundo? And one of these things he said, ang sabi ng Panginoon was, ang sabi ron, uh, on Matthew 24, and sabi ron, and you will hear wars and rumors of wars, hallelujah, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Then there will be famine, there will be pestilence, there will be earthquakes, there will be tri- uh, tribulation and, uh, and kill you. You will hate all by the nation for my name's sake. Papatayin kayo ng mga tao sa, aking, sa pamamagitan ng aking pangalan. Betraying one another, I will hate, and it will hate one another. And sabi ron, men, false prophets will rise up on the last days. Sa mga huling araw, there will be false prophets will rise and deceive many. And sabi ni Jesus, lawlessness will abound. Yung ngayon, lawlessness will abound. Sa Pilipinas lang, sabi ko nga, ang pagpatay na lang ng tao ngayon, parang pumapatay na lang ng manok nakakatakot, nakakalungkot ang takbo ng buhay. It's like parang sila ang may lalang ng buhay ng tao na kung kanya lang kitili na lang ang buhay ng kapwa niya, ganoon na lang. Lawlessness will arise, ang sabi ni Jesus. The love of many will grow cold. Yung pag-ibig ng tao, manghihina. Yung dating mga sumasambad sa Diyos, yung dating mga mananampalataya, mawawala ng, uh, ng nanghihina, manlulupay-pay sa mga huling araw. Amen? Mga dating mga manggagawa, dating kumilala sa Diyos, mga manlulupay-pay. In the last day. And that is what Jesus said. Yan yung sinabi ni Jesus sa mga huling araw. No? It will happen. But right on the middle of that, sa kabila ng ganoon, sa gitna na sinabi ni Jesus, He said, See that you are not troubled. Amen? Sa kabila noon, sa kabila ng mga pangyayari niyan, 
Sabi ni Jesus, see that you are not troubled. Hindi tayo magulmihanan. Amen. So it is so amazing. Praise God. Jesus started out by telling them about all the trouble that will come to the last days. But then he said, hey, don't get troubled by it. Huwag kayong mga takot. Amen. Sabi ni Jesus, don't be troubled by it. Yes, may mga pagsubok na darating, may mga pandemic. Yes, it's still the, the coronavirus is still around us. Hindi pa rin natatapos. But again, Jesus says, don't be troubled about it. So what he's telling us right now, ano po yung sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, sa ating kalagitnaan? That you can live right on the middle of trouble and not get be, not being troubled by it. Amen? Sa kabila ng mga kalamidad, sa kabila ng mga pagsubok, sa kabila ng mga pangyayari sa ating kapalig- paligiran, sabi ron, don't trouble by it. Amen? That was what Jesus declared. And any kinds of trouble that comes our way, any kinds of trouble we have in our life. Hallelujah. But we cannot do it without the Word of God. We cannot do it. It is impossible kung wala tayong salita ng Diyos. Amen? Yung mga mangyayari sa ating buhay, ibigay natin sa Panginoon. God is in control. Ang Diyos ang nakakalam ng lahat ng bagay sa ating buhay. Amen? Sabi ko ako si Taneneng, Taneneng, meron tayong Panginoon. Bigay natin sa Panginoon lahat niya. You know? Minsan, tinatakot tayo ng kaaway. The devil is trying to whisper to us mga bad things. At yan naman ang trabaho ni Satan eh. Tayo ay pang, panghinain, panglupay-payin. But God is in control. Do not get troubled ang sabi ni Jesus. You know, it's take a word of God. You know, eh pastor, nagbabasa naman ako ng Biblia. Eh, nagbabasa naman. But, you know, we need to put this in our heart. We need to put this in heart. Kailangan ipamuhay natin. Hindi lang natin narinig ang salita ng Diyos. Dapat we need to live with it. We need to put that, the Word of God, in our heart. Make it a reality over our life. Amen? Proverbs 4 verse 20, all the days, uh, all the ways down to verse 24, and sabi ron, For my son, give attention to my word incline your ears to my saying. Ang sabi ng Proverbs, do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Amen? Itago natin sa gitna natin puso yung pangako niya. Amen? The only reason why tayo ay naapektuhan ay kung ito ay hindi maging makatutuhanan sa ating buhay. Make this a reality over our life. Verse 22, sabi ron, for they are life to those who find them and help to or their flesh. Hallelujah. Kalusugan sa ating mga pangangatawan. Verse 23, sabi ron, Keep your heart with all diligence. Praise God. For out of it spring the issue of life. Verse 24, Put away from you the deceitful mouth and put uh, perverse lips far from you. Amen. Put away your deceitful mouth. Minsan yung ating mga, sabi ko, madalas ko po sabihin, at I always kong paulit-ulitin ko po ito, na yung maging maingat tayo sa ating mga pananalita. Amen? Sa ating mga confession. You know, don't let the enemy ma- makapasok sa ating buhay. Don't give him a hole na makapasok. Yung alam nyo, we are surrounded by prayers and the presence of God in our life huwag natin bigyan ng puwang ang kaaway na makapasok sa ating buhay. Amen? Put away from you all the deceitful mouth and put proper, proper sleeps far from you. Yung mga bagay na salita na hindi ka walang, 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 walang magandang ibubunga, huwag na po nating banggitin. You know? I might as well don't say anything kung wala naman tayong sasabihin mabuti. Amen po ba? You know? Stay focused on the Word of God. Listen carefully to what God has to say. And don't let Satan or anybody else steal it from you. Manakaw makuha ng kaaway sa ating buhay. Now, with that in mind, you know, let's go on Mark chapter 4. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 4 verse 14. It is a very important uh, parable that Jesus 
given unto us. Mark 11 and Mark chapter 4, verse 14. Tinan po natin. Mark chapter 4. Tinan po natin. Verse 14. The sower saw the word. Amen. The sower saw the word, verse 15, and there are the one by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and take away the word that was sown in their heart. Kita natin? Pansin po natin yung binasa po natin. The, the word is sown in our heart, you know, but these are the one by the wayside where the word is sown. Na siguro yung seed na ito ay nalagay lang sa tabi, sa gilid-gilid. But when they hid, Satan came immediately, hallelujah, and take away the word that was sown in their heart. Now, Jesus is giving us some important advice, okay? He is telling us to stay on guard. Stay on guard because once the word of God is sown in your heart, amen, then Satan will no, Satan will not going to waste time to steal it from you. Out of your heart. Hindi po mag-aksaya ng panahon ng oras si Satanas para hindi nakawin yung salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Bakit po? Because we know that He is helpless. If we have if we have the word of God in your heart, kung tayo po ay punong-puno ng salita ng Diyos, walang magagawa ang kaaway sa ating buhay. And that's why he tried to do his best to steal right away. He's not going to wait any time to steal that word from you. But he also knows that he can steal the word out of your heart. Then you have no defense against him. Amen. Wala tayong kalaban-laban sa kanya. That's why we need to we need to be aware of Satan tactics. You know, we know that once the word is sown, he tried to steal it from you. He will try to steal it right away from you. Right now, I am sowing the word of God in your in your heart right now. And more than that, more than more than likely, once we go back home, aring kung tayo pakuwi natin sa ating buhay from this church. And back to our regular routine of our life. You know, Satan is going around and finds some opening in our life that he can squeeze in and try to steal the word of God from you. Amen. And that's the work of Satan. Amen. And Satan will use his most uh, effective tools that they can use against us. You know, it is in the area of needs. Ito yung pinakababisang tools ng kaaway na ginagamit para tayo mapahiwalay sa kanya in the area of need, sa area ng ating mga pangangailangan. Amen? In the area of finances, in the area of material things. Why? Because our heart is focused, our heart is focused on our own interest. Yung sarili nating interest sarili nating pangangailangan. That's why the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 7, Therefore, submit unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So once again, it says, Satan, come immediately and take away the words that was sown in their heart. And it goes on and talk about uh, different soil. You know, kung mapatuloy natin babasahin, it talk about different kind of soils. It talk about being sown in good soil. Then it produces good results and produces fruit. Yung iba na laglag dun sa isang magandang lupa at ang lupang buto na ito ay lumaki at tumubo at nagproduce ng maraming mga fruits. Notice, if you keep on reading, if you keep on reading, it says, and, uh, another way that Satan still or attempt the word 
is through the destructions of the AIDS. The destructions of the AIDS. According to Mark chapter 4 verse 19, Amplified Version. Sabi na Amplified Version sa Mark chapter 4 verse 19, destructions of the AIDS. Hallelujah. That is what happening right now. Yan po yung mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran ngayon. COVID-19. A lot of Christians are allowing uh, the destructions of the aid to steal from their heart. You know, marami sa atin, gaya sabi ko, marami ko sinasabi, because of this pandemic, maraming businesses ang nagsara. Maraming mga trabaho ang na, na late, maraming mga nagtatrabaho na lay hope, you know. Uh, and that's what Satan's plan, yan po yung plano ni Satanas. You know? It's Satan's schemes. Yan po yung schemes ni Satan. The Bible says from the um, from a writing of the Apostle Paul telling us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, put on the whole armor of God. Isuot po natin yung baluti ng Panginoon that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Amen? Isuot po natin yung baluti ng Panginoon. Sabi ng Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, no? 6.11 po yun. Hindi ko lang po naisulat dito, pero that's the way it is. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. And this is the wiles of the devil is to get you focused on the destructions of the AIDS. Doon matuon yung ating kaisipan sa mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. Amen. And that's why sometimes they paralyze us. Paralyze us wala tayong magawa. Katwiran, ay, may pandemic kasi. You know? One of those distractions is all the turmoil that is going right now regarding the coronavirus and all the other things that sweeping up in the media. Yung mga media, yung mga sinasabi sa media. And if you watch on those, uh, on that, uh, uh, if you watch that things, the media, day in and day out, you're going to be d d distracted. Amen? Kung ang panunuorin natin ay yung news ngayon, madidistract tayo. Madidistract tayo. You're going to forget what the Word of God says. You're going to be forgetting about the weapon forms, that there is no weapon forms against us that shall prosper. Amen? You're going to forget that my God shall supply all our needs. Yan po yung mga pangako ng Panginoon. Pagka tayo'y matutuon sa mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran, makakalimutan po natin yung mga pangako ng Diyos na binigay para sa atin ng Panginoon. You're going to be focused on the negative side. Hallelujah. That you forget the positive side anymore in our life. Amen. That's why it is important that even even though that you, uh, uh, that you think it is so elementary or basic teaching, you know, uh, but you can't let go the basic. Hindi po natin pwedeng tanggalin yung basic natin. You know, basic it can let uh, you know hindi po natin pwedeng alisin po sa ating kasipan we need to start from the beginning sometimes minsan kailangan natin magumpisa sa umpisa you know to remind us ibalik po natin yung ating unang pag-ibig sa Diyos amen hindi ko ba nang tayo bagong kakilala sa Panginoon halos ayaw natin bitawan yung Biblia sa atin no, ako po ay bago-bagong Kristiyano praise God sa Pilipinas the first thing that I did, I buy the Bible, my first Bible in my life. And man, believe me, they, every morning, every night before I go to sleep, I need to read the Bible. I'm so excited. Amen. Yan po yung first love natin. Ibalik po natin yung first love natin. I, 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 I think you do the same thing. You know? Balik natin yung first love po natin. Yung unang pag-ibig. Hindi ba yung, yung sabi nga eh, Yung mga, bana, mga dalakat binata ay hindi makalimutan yung kalang first love. Amen, si Sister Kinilig. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ano, hindi natin makalimutan yung first love natin. No, first God, let's do the same thing with God. Yung ating balik natin, yung unang pag-ibig natin. So once again, in verse 19, in Mark chapter 4, the Amplified says, that one, or that one of the way that Satan attempt to steal the word of God from us, that the cares of anxieties and the word and the distractions of the AIDS. Amen. Wag puro maton yung ating kisipan. Focus on God's. 
ipukas po natin yung ating puso. Ibalik natin yung una natin pag-ibig sa Diyos. Amen? Ang sabi ng message translation, the stress strangled what they heard. Amen? The stress the strang, the, uh, strangled on what they heard. Ang sabi ng messenger, messenger translation. And hindi ko po sinulat doon. Ano po? The stress of all distractions that going on and say in the media. Yung mga sinasabi sa media, yung mga news natin ngayon, all the things that are reporting today. Amen? You will be stressed out of, uh, out of it. You know? Only just to watch, watching on those, uh, listening on those news nowadays. Madidistract po tayo. I would say, stay focused. Alam po tayo, stay focused on the Word of God. Amen. Huwag tayong padala sa Agos ng Sanlibutan. You know, sabi ko nga, napakadaling umayin sa Agos ng Sanlibutan ngayon. You know, it is easy to flow in the world system. Yung sistema ng Sanlibutan, napakadaling umayin. Napakadaling tumakbo doon. And yes, there is pandemic. Yes, there are some troubles around us. May mga pangyayari po sa ating ating paligyan. Yes, mayroon tayong mga pangangailangan na dapat nating abutin para tayo mabuhay sa ating ginagalawan. You know, meron tayong pangailangan. We cannot deny those things. But what I'm telling is, meron din tayong Diyos na mas malaki kaysa sa ating mga pangangailangan. Tahimik ata tayo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Meron tayong Diyos na mas malaki kaysa sa ating mga pangangailangan. Amen. Amen. Huwag tayong padala sa ating mga uh, yung, 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 yung pangangailangan ng ating laman na most of the time doon tayo nakatutok yung ating buong kaisipan nakatutok sa mga pangangailangan. Lord, mayroon na pong bayarin. Lord, hindi inap yung isang trabaho. <laughs> hindi inap yung isang trabaho. Kailangan ko magtrabaho ng isa pa. You know? But you know, if we learn how to trust Him, kung matutunan natin tayo ay magtiwala sa Diyos. Minsan, I'm sorry to tell this, ah, pasensya na po, pero I would need to say this. Eh, pastor, mas malaking kita pagka Sunday. <laughs> eh, buti yan para makapagbigay ako sa Panginoon ng tithes. But I tell you the truth, the Lord don't need your money. He owns everything. Kailangan, hindi, hindi kailangan ng Diyos ang pera. What God need is you. Tayo po. Ibigay natin yung the best sa ating Panginoon sapagkat He give the best for us. Ibinigay ng Diyos yung pinakamabuti sa atin. You know? Huwag po tayo magsaalang-alang. Gawin po natin yung kalooban ng Diyos na ginalooban niya, nabigyan tayo. He even died on the cross for us that He is God na hinubad ang kanyang pagdardiyos na nao sa lupa para mamatay, para tayo magkaroon ng redemption from, uh, from the Lord. Ibalik tayo sa ating dating kalalagyan na yung, yung, yung pag-ibig ng Diyos ay nawala at muling ibinalik ng Diyos. And the cause of that is the death of Christ. Yung si Jesus na siya ang Diyos na ma- the creator of everything naging tao, nagpakumbaba, nag- naging katulad ng tao para mamatay sa cross para tayo tubusin sa sumpa ng kasalanan. And that is the very best that God given to us. But bakit hindi natin maibigay yung the best natin sa Panginoon? And we always focus on the things that we need. You know, believe me, kung maibigay po natin ang best sa Panginoon, walang para Because He has a promise. God has a promise to us. He gave the best promise to, to us and to us. Ibinigay po. Kaya lang the only things that we need to do is we need to know what are those promises that God is given to us. Amen? He loved us so much. Amen? He loved us so much. Hindi pa ba yan ang Diyos na tayo po, you know, <laughs> I, I have a great testimony in my life. Sabi ko nga, Panginoon, since the beginning, uh, since uh, I, 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 I surrendered my life to the Lord 1983, You know, until to the present time, you know, I learned how to trust Him. You know, natutunan ko kung paano ko isurrender po ng sundin niya kalooban ng Diyos sa lahat ng area. I did. Uh, the very best that I can do. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But, you know, I give the best that I can do. The best of my ability. But, God, you know, 
I've been proving God in my life so many times. Nasubukan ko po ang Diyos sa aking buhay. Not in, in the area of, uh, of, of, of money, even in the area of health, sa kalusugan. Hallelujah. Now, we have pandemic. We have all kinds of situation nowadays. But I prove myself. I prove myself. I tell you this now. I prove myself that God is really faithful to His promise. I tell you that. Nasubukan ko po ang Diyos at gusto ko pong ipangalandakan sa bawat isa sa atin yung kabutihan ng Diyos. That His Word, God is faithful in our life. As long uh, you learn how to be faithful to Him. Amen? Walang bagay na hindi kaya gawin ng Diyos sa mga taong tunay na nagtitiwala sa ating Panginoon. Amen mo ba? Amen? Trust on the Lord. Focus on His Word. I-focus po natin yung ating kaisipan, ang buong puso natin, buong buhay, buong kaluluwa, i-focus natin sa Kanyang pangako. And God is faithful in our life. Amen po ba? Amen. Tumayo po tayo lahat. Hallelujah. Let's bow down ourselves this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hayaan natin, purihin natin ang Diyos ngayong umaga. Hallelujah. Even to those people who is watching on us right now, kung meron kayong mga pangyayari sa ating buhay, sa mga panahon natin ngayon, meron mga pagsubok na nangyayari po sa atin, maaaring ito sa pamagitan ng salapi o sa pamagitan ng karamdaman, anumang uri ng sitwasyon meron tayo ngayon. Learn how to trust Him. Trust on God. Learn how to surrender your life unto the Lord because He has a promise focus ourselves to the Word of God. Huwag po tayong matuon ang ating kaisipan sa takbo ng salibutan, sa takbo ng nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. But let God be God in our life. Gawin natin ang Diyos ay Diyos ng ating buhay because He, He is the Creator of everything. Hallelujah! For those people who trust Him and believe on Him, not only 99% ang gusto ng Diyos, 100% that we're going to trust Him. Hallelujah! Na hindi tayo, mag- hindi tayo magdadalawang isip na ang Diyos ay mabuti sa ating buhay. Hallelujah! Let's bow down ourselves, Lord, and I would like to pray for you this morning. Hallelujah! Lord, once again, Lord, as we come to you, O God, to this throne, in your throne this morning, Lord, as as I pray, O God, not even to those people that is here this morning and even to those people who are watching on us right now on their Facebook Live and their YouTube channel, Lord, I pray, O God, that you are not limited with the distance and time, Panginoon. Kaya mong katagpuin, O Diyos, ang lahat ng pangangailangan ng iyong mga anak na tunay na nagtiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Even, O God, those people that is here right now sa ating kalagitnaan, Lord, I pray, Lord, lukuban mo kami ng iyong kabanalan, O Diyos. Lukuban mo kami ng iyong mga pangako, O Diyos, na nagbuhat sa iyong mga labi, Panginoon, na ipinangako mo sa amin, Lord, ang masaganang buhay, Panginoon, sa mga taong tunay na nagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, matutunan namin, Lord, ibigay ang aming panahon, ibigay namin ang aming kaisipan na mapokus sa iyong salita, Panginoon, not on every situation of our life, Lord, not in every situation of this world, Lord, but the situation that you promised unto us, O God. Yan po yung aming matuunan na aming salita. Lord, as I pray, Lord, as I lay hands my hand, O God, Lord, for those people, O God, who are watching right now, on us right now, Lord, ipadaloy mo, Panginoon, ang himala ng kasaganaan, ang himala ng kagalingan, O Diyos, sa buhay ng iyong mga anak, even, O God, sa aming, uh, nasa aming kapalagi, uh, aming, uh, 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 aming sanctuary right now, O God, for those people that is here right now, Lord, I pray, Lord, na yung pag-iingat, O Diyos, ay patuloy mong ipagkaloob sa buhay ng iyong mga anak, Panginoon. Maranasan namin, O Diyos, ang tunay na pagpapala, ang tunay na pangako mo na binitawan, O God, para sa amin, O Diyos. Lord, and we can say thank you, Lord, for the things that you've done in our life, Lord. Salamat sa kagalingan, salamat sa mga himala ng kasaganaan na sa ngayon, ay, Lord, ipinadadaloy mo na, O Diyos, sa buhay ng iyong mga anak, sa mga taong nanampalataya sa iyo, nagtiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Hallelujah! Sa pangalan ni Jesus, sa pangalan ni Jesus, Lord. Heal your people, O God. Lord, sa mga taong may sakit karamdaman, Panginoon, ano man uri ang nararamdaman namin sa aming katawan, sa pangalan ni Jesus, Lord, ang sabi mo sa iyo silita, that by your stripe, we are healed, O God. Lord, sa iyo mga latay, O Diyos, 
Uh, Lord, na ikaw ay nabugbog, O God. Hallelujah. Sa iyong mga latay, kami ay nagsigaling, O Diyos. And I claim that promise, O God, because it is you who promised, O Father, Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord, ipadalo mo, O God, ang hibala ng kagalingan, O God, sa lahat ng dako, O God, sa lahat ng nakakarinig ng aking tinig, O God. Lord, flow the power of your healing, O God, through your people right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Even to those people who are in needs, O oh God, sa mga tao mayroong pangangailangan, sa mga oras ito, whatever it is, O oh God. Lord, itinataas po namin sa iyo ang lahat-lahat, Lord. Lord, na hindi po kami magdadalawang uh, isip, O oh Diyos, ang lahat ng bagay na aming mga pangangailangan, whatever it may, it may be a situation, O oh God. Lord, sa iyo po namin iiwanan sa iyong paanan sa mga oras ito, Lord, sa pangalan ng Jesus. Sa pangalan ng Jesus, Lord. And Lord, I will say, Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Salamat sa mga ginagawa mo sa aming buhay. Salamat, Lord, that we are open again, O oh God, for this our church, Lord. Continue to bless your people. Patuloy namin maranasan ang iyong pag-ibig, ang, iyong, ang, iyong, ang, ang fellowship with you, O oh Father, Lord. Hallelujah. As we declare goodness, as we declare uh, good health, good life for your people, O oh Father, Lord. Lord, we just thank you. We just give it back, oh God, all the praises and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.